So Labrador City. Um, found a bat outside my hotel, so the air must be pretty clean. Then met um, these two nutcases, Abraham and his dad. Um, they'd driven up from Minnesota, um, so just goes to show. Don't try to get into Tim Hortons. There's a queue for the drive-in. Go into the mall for breakfast. This place was great. Can't remember what it was called, but first class. And I had a quick look around um, some of the mining projects. They're doing a lot of blasting at the moment. Rio Tinto are spending money, which means the town is uh, vibrant, which is good. So onto the road and uh, tarmac for a while. So this is the road between um, Labrador City and Churchill Falls. It's um, well maintained. Um, you just have to be a little bit careful of these uh, water channels here. Some of them are deeper than others and you end up aquaplaning them. And as you can see it's um, really really busy. I pulled over about half a mile back just to let a big wagon pass because I'm on holiday and they're not so and he's gone he's long gone Well, um, it's still raining. Um, I'm way ahead of schedule, and I don't need to be. So I'm uh, looking for a place I can um, pull off and uh, get a camp set up. We'll see. There's um, quite a lot of snow some of the north facing uh, places. Uh, just crossing over a bridge over a reservoir. Yep. Ice is out in most places, although there are a few of the bays that are north facing there. There's still ice and it's uh, June the 20th. And there we are. Yes, it's raining. It was raining um, all night. And it's forecast to rain most of the day. I think tomorrow it'll clear up a little bit. Um, not as windy as it was, which is good. Anyway, I'm enjoying the road. Um, this is the easy part of the Trans Labrador. In so much as it's um, tarmac, but it's in critical condition. Um, some of it looks like it's only fairly recently been done. Anyway. Well. Try and spin this round so you can see it. How's about that way? We're just near uh, Churchill Falls and Churchill River. And oh no, snow. This how out of condition I am. Mm. 
using the steps so we don't erode the trail, which is pretty erode. And the trail's not getting a lot of use at the moment. <clears throat> you can hear the thunder of the river. Uh, and it's a shadow of its former self. see a bit just here. <clears throat> you can certainly hear it. So these are part of Churchill Falls. Um, since they built the uh, reservoir and power station. This of course is, it's not dried up. It's different. Um, for the adventurous, you could abseil down, but I'm getting far too old and sensible for doing that. I'm going to go back up to the road and take a look at the uh, Colson Bridge. So this is um, what's left of the Churchill River. Well, the riverbed's still there. Um, it's got quite the torrent it used to be. Um, there used to be a cableway across the river, which they used when they were building the, uh, the bridge. Um, that was dismantled um, this year, or late last year, and the bits of it are laying um, in a nice, neat pile. I carried on for a bit longer past this um, this place and eventually um, found somewhere I wanted to camp. Um, a bit barren, but you know, it stopped raining pretty much and it was cold, but cold's good, no black fly. So, day, oh my lord, um, three, or is it four? No, three. Um, my planning wasn't optimal. I had expected to be able to camp in established campsites, and I popped into the, um, what essentially is the, Tourist Information Centre in um, Lab City and um, was told, well, there, there are two campgrounds, um, but they usually don't like people with tents because the places are all full of local people, which I understand, I totally understand. So I thought, well, you know what, I'll, I'll pop into one of them just to see and well it wasn't even open so i drove out to churchill falls um had a look at the remnants of the falls there's something i'll film somewhere i'm sure you'll see it and thought well you know what let's see if i can find a space so basically i was coming down the road and i saw a lot of tracks off 
a lot of them were up to um, construction sites for um, electricity pylons, um, taking the power out of uh, Churchill Falls, um, probably up to uh, Goose, maybe onwards, I don't know. Um, anyway, I saw this one sign saying camp. I thought, oh, anyway, I drove down here. Um, turns out it's a um, construction camp, but it's not being used at the moment. There's a, um, you may just be able to hear it, there's a um, rumbling of a river and the road along here looks like it's been recently improved. Um, the bridge looks like it's been newly made, so my guess is this um, construction camp which is completely empty. I mean, the, the buildings are there. Um, no doubt there's some sort of security on it, but I'm parked way away from that. There's no heavy machinery here. There's, there's nothing. So this is sort of roadside camping, car park camping, if you like. Um, I doubt anybody's going to tell me to bugger off. Well, if they do, I'll go in the morning. Um, I think people have got better things to do with their lives than to... Um, rigorously enforce things that are unenforceable. Anywho, um, I'm all set up. I put my tarp up because I thought it was going to rain and it trickled a little bit, but it's getting cold. Um, I saw the forecast yesterday. It's probably going to go down to one, zero, maybe, maybe with some flurries overnight. Who knows? It's Labrador. Um, but it's all good. Um, had a fantastic dehydrated meal. Well, that's a lie. I've really got to start stop buying that stuff and start doing my own dehydration because it was awful. But there we are. I won't mention names, so you know it's not a product review. Um, but if anybody wants to stop me um, naming the innocent, well, please. Um, plain brown envelopes are accepted and with that I think I'll stop blabbering on um, incidentally it looks a lot lighter than it really is um, it's about 8, 8.30 I think the sun goes down about 9, 9.30, 10ish I might come back if I'm still awake um, when it's dark I don't know life's good